All right, you guys. Um, this video. Why well, my phone's dying? I'm gonna try to make this video 15 minutes at the very least because they need 15 minutes to play. Um, but I'm I'm running late for a meeting already. I mean, not quite, but I have 10 minutes until my meeting, and I, they need 15 minutes to play, so I'm gonna be a little late. But it's fine. So. We only have uh, Samara and Kratos right now. Jack is inside. Um, just, I'm having problems with her energy level right now. So um, so she's been um, staying out of staying out of um, high energy situations for a while until she can learn to calm down. So, so it's just these two. Uh, also, there's Paco. I don't know why he's out here, but he wants to come out. So he's here. That's basically it. And honestly, that's fine. He's allowed to be out here so long as he doesn't start um, start barking at the dog. Because that's the thing. You'll have, you'll, you might, like, if you guys go to dog parks, you might see that there's that one dog who basically instigates, right? So there's other dogs running around and playing, and this dog is barking at them, which is just being really rude. Um, small dogs, a lot of times, fit into that category. I mean, they have the little dog syndrome. Um, and so... Paco does fall in that category too, and I don't allow that to happen because that that's rude behavior, right? Um, and if my my other dogs decide like, hey, stop barking at me, and they want to, you know, like correct him, um, they're technically in the right to do just as canines, but he's smaller, so you know, there's more, you know, more ability for them to get hurt or him to get hurt. So basically, I don't allow him to do that. I don't allow him to bark and chase after them at all, like, because he doesn't want to be bothered with them. Paco doesn't want to play with them. He doesn't want to do anything with them. So he's not allowed to bark at the other, uh, you know, um, at even other dogs, uh, because he, you know, he doesn't want the attention back, basically. Oh, look at him marking. Still not lifting up his leg. It's Marpeed over there. <laughs> look, he's wants to, but he just isn't. And he really can't learn from the other dogs. The only other male I have is this boy right here. And when he lifts up his leg, it goes nowhere. <laughs> so Kratos has no one to learn from to lift up his leg, but. He's, he's marking. He's marking. So yeah, so it's just these two babies. Hi, Samaras. Hi. What's up? Hi, pretty girl. What's up? He's, she's like, hi. Okay, bye. Yeah, unfortunately, Jack's the one I like that usually plays with her. Rachel's is working on scent marking, I guess. Or eating grass. He likes to do both. Yeah, so not as high energy, but because um, Jack's not out here, but at least you guys get to see them. So today's Wednesday, Samara has class today, um, but un unfortunately for her, and she still gets to go out and I give her things to chew on, but today's the day where we're at the facility for three hours, uh, and it's a bit more, of course, because, you know, I got to get there, I got to prep, and there's time. We're, we're there for quite a while, and so it's more than three hours, but it's three classes that are each an hour. But technically, I need to leave here at 5 to get there by 5.30, because we have a 5.30 class that lasts until 6.30, then a 6.45 class that lasts until 7.45, then an 8 o'clock class that lasts until 9. So we'll be out for quite a while. Um, I only found the ball. <laughs> so they'll be out, we'll be out for a while, because I, um, I think I mentioned this before, but um, I assist in the first class. Uh, the 5.30 class, I teach the 6.45 class, and then me and Samara partake in the last class. Um, then we go home. So those first two hours, she, uh, she is, ah, 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 no ma'am, at ah, Samara, no ma'am. Samara, what did I just say? Bad dog. I'm going to check it out, Paco. Yeah, it's been a while since Paco's been out here when they're playing. I said he usually stays away. He's usually like, no thank you because of this exactly here. Um, but honestly, with just these two out here, I think it's fine. Um, so, I mean, I definitely have to watch them because Kratos is definitely known for running and not looking. But, um, you know, with just these two dogs, I think it's fine. Ah! Ah! Paco, enough. So that was... Paco trying to tell them to calm down, but he's not allowed to do that. Also, Paco's the lowest, you know, um, in this pack that we have, he's the lowest ranking member. Um, so, he's not allowed to issue any corrections. And I enforce that, so, so that the other dogs don't have to. 
Because even though the dogs are gentle with it, um, and it's not like, it won't be the first time Kratos has, or Kratos, Paco, my chihuahua. Uh, so Paco's been corrected by Kratos like twice. Um, and it's, um, and there's a physical aspect to it, but other than Kratos making a lot of noise, like nothing, like there's nothing else that goes on. There's no biting and nothing else, um, you know, in regards to that. So, um, just Kratos making a lot of noise and putting him on his side. Um, and I've gotten on Kratos in those, and for those instances, because Kratos is just being really dramatic. Uh, Paco, you know, Kratos lay next to me and Paco like put his paws on me, which in a way, like put Kratos, uh, put Paco over Kratos. And so he's like, oh, you're trying to dominate me. Not gonna happen. Even though Paco was not trying to do any of that. Um, anyway, point is, it's so not that I'm afraid of Paco getting hurt. Um, but if I can not get that situation, we can't, we cannot put him in that situation where I come in and say, hey, you need to be quiet, then, you know, I'm going to do it, so. Anywho, anywho, anywho. Um, I guess I'll go over here quicker. So my, my battery life is dying quickly, you guys. I think I've mentioned that for whatever reason, outside, no matter what the temperature is, my phone just dies super quickly. I have no clue why. It happens in the winter. It happens in the summer. I have no clue why. But um, my phone might die uh, really quickly. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think this is enough exercise for them. But my meeting that I'm about to be in is, is going to be like an hour, hour and a half long. Um, so I'm not going to be able to really... Um, <laughs> what are you guys showing off? Like what I got. So they're not going to be able to be out here the entire time, unfortunately, but at least it's something. A little some activity. I think I mentioned this before, but I've been a bit busy uh, because of my... I So I manage a team of, uh, I guess, four others, and each of those four others are out various times this week. I think... I'm here all this week, but we have... Um, but my team, there's only one other person who's here a lot this week, and it's just three days. So most of my team's out this week. So I've been doing a lot of work to try to help and make sure that when they do come back, they're not overwhelmed with things, they're not behind on client stuff. Uh, but then also just getting my own stuff done. So um, it's been a bit busy. So um, like Monday, I was had the goal of them playing twice. They only got to play once, um, which I think that was actually pretty fine. Um, because so Monday is class for Kratos and Jack. Um, and they, they did okay in class, you know, they did well in class. Um, and then they were tired when I got home, and I know this because I tried to do some scent work with both Kratos and ja and uh, and Samara, and they both were too tired to do scent work for too long. Hi, Samara, what you got on your nose? Or so Kratos has like these little, I don't actually know. They're like little scabs on um on his on his chin that peel every once in a while, and so he just bleeds from his chin every once in a while, and naturally it gets everywhere. Um, so I've been trying to figure out because there's just be random blood on my dogs. I'm like, you guys have done nothing to get, you know, to need to get these little wounds. But that's what's on Samara's head. And she's not bleeding, I promise. Literally, uh, Kratos wipes the little bottom, his little bottom jaw on her. And I have to figure out what's going on there. Because I'm not paying attention, but part of me thinks that, um, either he's rubbing at it with his paws... Or uh, Jack might be looking at it because I've seen her do that as well. I haven't been paying attention enough to really know. So I'll have to see. Samara, you got a toy baby girl. You got a toy baby girl. Oh, pretty lady. She's like, I want this. You know, I think it's also good because um, it's been. A f I don't think they've they've uh, um, at least not together. I mean, Jack is also not out here. Um, luckily, the dogos keep it at least uh, low enough to low enough um, energy to where Paco feels okay to come out here. Uh, because if I had Jack out here, he would be at the door waiting for me to let him in. <laughs> Even though he while well, he basically walked out with us, he walked out a little bit beforehand because you know these guys gotta wait and there's some other things that I want them to do as a team. Um, and not have to be concerned about Paco, but generally speaking, they came, the all three of these guys came out at the same time. Um, 
And if Jack was out here, he'd be at the door waiting to go back in, no matter how soon he's out, you know, how soon he just came out here. Um, because Jack just, just too crazy, too crazy. And Jack's aware of Paco, you know. Um, I'm looking at Paco marking over Kratos. Paco, Kratos might pee on you, man. I'm just saying. Um, but anyway, point is, this is a good interaction just so that I can see them interact together outside like this. As I mentioned this before, I don't allow any of my, my bigger dogs to play with Paco. And it's good because, from at least in my situation, Paco does not want to play with these guys. Uh, so it works out. I mean, I mean, think if you have smaller animals that want to play with these guys, you guys you definitely need to set boundaries. Uh, different boundaries than what I have. But for me, I think this is really good for them to understand that, yeah, Paco's out here. We are playing, getting rough. But we are not allowed to, we're still not allowed to play with, with Paco, right? So we still leave him alone, even though we're out here getting rough. Energy's getting excited. That, um, you know, even all with all that, it's not an excuse for them to, you know, you know, bother Paco. So Kratos is walking towards Paco. He's acting like he's eating grass. And, and he is. Kratos does that. But you notice that he's kind of, oh, well, not anymore. Some more got in the way. But he was kind of um, following following Paco. Like, he was eating grass. He was following Paco. So just eyeball him. This is the only male Paco uh, Kratos has to kind of compete with in the, in the house. Um, and Paco's neutered, so. Pikachu's is neutered. And that was Samara. Kratos is like, I'm gonna lay on you. <laughs> Samara still got it, but. Mm, pretty girl. Yeah, she's gonna be pretty. And unfortunately, she has like some serious uh, flaws. Those two serious flaws being the fact that her nose isn't completely black, which might blacken up as she gets older. She's still young. Um, but also, like, she has the underbite and she has a spot. But overall, structurally, Samara is actually better than, um, than better structurally, at least per the AKC standard, uh, than Kratos is, so. Not pretty, girl. We got a toy missus. <laughs> Kratos is still acting like he's a cow. And a billy goat. Nice job, Mars. <laughs> and off they go. Alright, so I'm officially late for my meeting right now, but I am going to try to make this video 15 minutes. Just so they have 15 minutes of play. Okay, I basically started this video as soon as I, um, that, that they got out. Look at Samara, that's where Samara is. So, look at him, I'm moving these tree branches out here. Want me to throw it, man? I actually kind of don't want to touch that. Jack had brought that ball in their little potty pen. Um, somebody brought it out, but I don't know I wasn't about to touch it. <laughs> Not that I think they rolled it around in anything. It's just the whole it's the principle of the matter, right? Let me talk this over here with me. Cradles is eating grass, and Samara is drinking water. I just want you guys just to notice that all the high energy that you guys see, it's literally due to Jack. And it's 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 like it's an issue um but at the same time that's what makes these dogs tired as you see they're not doing too much right now but adding jack to the mix they're going to be running around um jack would definitely be playing with samara uh jack will be wanting to be chased jack will be doing some chasing you know so she she brings the energy which brings you know you know gets the dogs tired but on their own dogos they actually actually i found that um they do pretty well and just chilling. Um, I don't know if that's because they're still young, but I, just because I mentioned, because when I was doing the research on the dog before I got them, I, I've heard that, oh yeah, they need um, they need all this exercise a day or whatever. And I find that if for whatever reason, whether it be weather or just circumstance to where, you know, I'm just too busy, the days that they don't get exercise, they're not terrorizing the place. <laughs> you know, they're not doing that. So. They are they actually settle down and take a nap quicker um, in the house than my my pit, my pit bull does. Um, Jack will pace a lot. Sorry, I'm stepping on sticks. Jack will pace a lot inside the house before she actually settles down for a nap. And these guys, I mean, Samara does a little pacing. She's still young. She's still a puppy, so she still tries to be like, oh, let me chew on something, right? But you know, as soon as I fuss at her enough, um, she'll be like, okay, fine, and she'll she'll lay down and and uh, you know take a nap. So way sooner before Jack will settle down in the house. So, I appreciate that. Alright y'all, anyway, so 
it is approaching 15 minutes. By the time I end it, it will be 15 minutes. I'm already late for a meeting. I'm going to get these babies in um, so they can relax for at least an hour because I have to go in an hour um, for Samara's class. So um, anyway, in the meantime, in between time, you guys can enjoy this video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.